oftentimes I've asked myself how I'd look when I get old, when I get 70 or 80. And wow, the result is quite shocking. I looked cute. Hey there, my name is Chris from Craft Reactor, and in today's story, I'm going to show you how to get to 70 or 80 years using After Effects, Mocha, and Photoshop. Let's get into it. And right here in After Effects, and the first thing to do is to determine the reference frame, and this is where actually where I want to start creating the um, the old face, the old face thing, and I want to choose this frame. So the first thing I'm going to do is to pre-compose this layer and I'm going to name it to track. We're going to track our face inside of Mocha. Um, click on move all attributes and click OK. And I'm going to launch in my Mocha Pro. The new version of Mocha Pro comes with a, um, a, a power mesh, which makes it easy for um, skin warping and perspective well detailed. So I'm going to launch Mocha and so yeah, we're in Mocha and I'm going to drag this to our reference frame. Remember I said this part is the reference frame I want to start with. So I'm going to click on my spline tool and I'm going to draw a mat. Draw over my face. I'm going to click OK and I'm going to make sure that translation scale rotation shared they are all checked and i'm going to check on perspective because there was a bit of movement of my head and i'm going to click on mesh now the point the reason for this mesh as is it, it is in the um, new version of mocha is because of the skin movement and the skin warping it detects the motion of the muscles during any movement so i'm going to go to my mesh um, options and i'm going to change this from automatic to uniform and I'm going to leave this at 32 and I'm going to click on generate mesh. Now we can see we've generated our mesh. Now the next thing to do is to, I'm going to track this. So I'm going to track this. I'm going to, right, cl I'm going to click on track forwards and let Mocha do its thing. And don't forget to know that the speed of your computer determines the speed of the track. So I'm going to wait for some seconds to make this, to finish up this tracking. So Mocha has completely tracked this, as you can see, the result is pretty nice. As you can see the, the, the muzzle warping and everything going on. So I'm going to go back to my reference frame. And that is at the beginning of this, at the beginning of this video. And I'm going to create, um, you know, um, click on show planar surface. And I'm going to expand the planar surface to cover the entire frame. And I'm going to save this. So it has been saved and I'm going to go out of mocha we are done with mocha so our tracking has been done and i'm going to go back to this reference frame which is at the beginning of this timeline i'm going to export this as a jpeg so i'm going to go to composition i'm going to save frame as a file and i'm going to type reference reference frame jpeg and i'm going to render it it has been rendered so i'm going to open my photoshop and this is it this is my reference frame so i tried using the neural filters but in the neural filter in photoshop didn't give me exactly what i wanted so i had to create this from scratch with my own using well, i have to i had to create this manually so what did i do it's pretty easy no biggie i just went to an imported uh, i downloaded um an old man i'm going to resize this I'm going to click OK and I'm going to reduce the opacity, you know, rasterize this layer and I'm going to reduce the opacity because I want it to fit. Because I really want it to fit my. So I think here is OK. It's actually fits my, my two eyes because the eye is actually a reference point for every image. So I think this is good and I'm going to create a mask and I'm going to change this to overlay 
I'm going to create an adjustment layer and I'm going to insert that black and white. I need to add more wrinkles to the face. So I'm going to add it to this too. And just like I did with the first, I'm going to reduce the opacity to actually see where, where this is going to. And I'm going to resize it. And also create a mask. And with my brush tool, I'm going to wipe out the excesses. So I'm going to change this the blending mode to overlay. So the next thing to do, I'm going to change the color of my hair. I'm going to my pen tool, I'm going to So I'm going to click on Control Enter and then go to my selection tool and right click and then feather this to 8 pixels and then I'm going to press Ctrl L to bring up the levels and I'm going to shift the levels up to this point in such a way that I have um, you know I have that white feel and I'm going to do the same with my eyebrow So we're done in Photoshop and this is what we have. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to save it and I'm going to name it as my reference frame 2. Because I already have one here and I don't want to delete it. So this is the look we have right now. So I'm going to go back to After Effects and I'm going to import that reference frame. I'm going to import the reference frame and here it is. So um, I'm going to drag it down here and here we have it. So I'm going to pre-compose it and I'm going to name this as insert. I'm going to click OK and I'm going to go to the track I'm going to go to, go to my track layer where we have actually yeah, where we have the tracking data and I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it over the reference image. So I'm going to open up the module renders. I'm going to check render and I'm going to module and click on stabilize warp. So as you can see, it is everything at some point except for the fact that it's warping the whole in the entire frame so i'm going to um double click on this i'm going to open this up and i'm going to create a mask on my face to make sure that it's only warping on the on my it's only warping on my face than the entire frame so i'm going to um Use my pen tool and then draw a max. Don't bother about the head, I can still recreate it. This is what we have. So I'm also going to max out my my two my eyes and also I'm gonna max out my mouth. I'm going to hit M twice on the keyboard and I'm going to go to my from my max 2 to my max 4 and I'm going to hit subtract. This is actually the max from 
my eyes and my mouth and I'm going to feather them. bunch I'm gonna give them I'm gonna feather them in bits then here we are so now we have see what we have and it's pretty looking very nice so so I like this I like what I have here this is actually very nice so now for the hair to bring back my hair I'm going to go back to my reference to my insert um, composition and I'm going to bring back the reference frame and i'm gonna go to my projects i'm gonna bring out my reference frame i'm gonna drag it on top and i'm gonna max out just my hair so i'm gonna feather it i'm gonna hit f on the keyboard and feather it a, a bit and this is what I have now. So as you can see, um, this part of my neck isn't blended originally to the skin. So I'm going to go back to my insert composition and I'm going to go back to this point and I'm going to feather this part a bit. So I'm going to click on my max feather tool. I'm going to zoom in. and i'm going to make sure that this place is feathered so i'm going to create a point here i'm going to drag it i'm going to get another point here i'm going to drag it too another point and i'm going to drag it so that it will be blended well into my skin so let's go back and check it out so you can see that has that um, sharp uh, boundary or that sharp um, line has disappeared so it is looking very nice right now so at the end of the day this is what we have hey dear my name is chris from craft reactor and in today's story i'm going to show you how to get to 70 or 80 years using after effects mocha and photoshop let's get into it so guys that's it for this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel it helps us grow and please don't forget to click on the bell notification icon anytime i post new content and hey don't get shocked when you see yourself looking like an 80 year old don't stop creating never stop creating never back out i will see you in my next video peace out